All right, I'm joined today by a special guest. This is kind of like what I would call a crossover episode a little bit. Uh, if you've seen on my show before, I've drank out of this um, mug, shamelessly plugging my other show with Oliver Robles. That would be Faith Talk. So if you can give him, I don't. I think I have a round of applause button actually. Oh really? Know. Does that go? Wow. Through? I don't know if that I went. I feel through. so special. But I did. I did add the applause button. So <laughs> welcome to the show. Nice. Well, hey, thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Why don't you just give like a little bit of a rundown of who you are, what you're doing? I don't know. I need to come up with like a sentence for that. But. Yeah, you should. Um, so I'm Oliver. Um, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. I've been one pretty much my whole life. Born and raised in the Adventist system. Went through all 13 years of school, kindergarten to senior year in high school. Seventh-day Adventist system with this guy right here. So I've known him for a long time. Um, yeah, like he said, we have a podcast together. It's called Fake Talk. And that's, <laughs> there you go, the card right there. Um, and I guess that's just kind of one of the big things I'm doing is that podcast. That's the, probably the biggest thing I'm doing actually right now. And it's been super fun. I've enjoyed every minute of it. And yeah. Yeah, I feel like what I would tell people probably is we wouldn't still be doing it if it wasn't fun, right? We're having yeah. a good time doing it. Um, it is we fun. We got some episodes ahead of time, and then we'll do some virtual ones too. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun ride, yeah. and exciting to see where it's going to go. So, yeah. So I guess one of the main questions I was going to ask to kind of give people an idea of what the show's all about is: what would you say? First of all, let, let's start at the beginning. Where did it start? Because it did start with you. Okay. Well, I guess if we really want to get technical about it, we could say it started all the way back in kindergarten. <laughs> when we first met, mm -hmm. but the the actual story of how the podcast came into reality was uh, it was I think it was it was the summer of senior year, so it was the summer before senior year started, and I was working at the boys' dorm, and I remember specifically I was cleaning the windows, and I think I was listening to a podcast. I don't remember which podcast it was, but I came up this just this idea popped in my head like hey, wouldn't it be cool if we did a podcast about apologetics? And then right then and there, I just texted Peyton about it. He's like, dude, let's do it. So then we got together a couple weeks later in this, uh, our campus, our school campus has a, it's, an, it's called an art building. And in there they have like a little sound booth where you can record. So that's literally what we did. We just got in the closet with one microphone and we sat around it and our first guest was Pastor Kabanji, David Kabanji. And he was all the way in, well, where you are now, Nebraska. So we, we called him on a virtual meet, but we didn't know how to set it up so we record the audio on his end. So what we did was we just pointed the mic at the laptop. Or was it a phone? It was a phone, right? Well, I think we started with like a Google Meet, kind of like what we're doing right now. But it didn't yeah. work, so we just literally like held the phone up to the microphone. <laughs> yeah, and if you go back to that episode, the audio was terrible. But that's that's pretty much how this podcast started was just us in a closet, <laughs> <laughs> and now it's it's grown from that, and it's been awesome to see how far we've gone. So you know, you got to start somewhere, right? Right. People start in garages. We started in the closet. <laughs> in the closet. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, yeah, so that that kind of leads to the second question, which would be, what do you? How would you describe the the mission of Faith Talk? Because there there is a goal behind the project, more or less. Yeah. So so when I first envisioned what this podcast would be, I kind of what I wanted to do was to encourage conversation, because that's something rare nowadays. Unfortunately, is conversation. Not a lot of people talk about things. It's just a bunch of arguing. Um, which I guess could be could be debated as a form of conversation, but but when the conversation I wanted to have was one a lot less heated and more two people with the mutual understanding that everybody has different worldviews and we're just here to converse and not to argue. And that's kind of that's pretty much what the podcast is is just us talking to people either different worldviews or the same worldview and just having those conversations. And asking those questions that either people are too afraid to ask or maybe haven't asked yet. And just discussing those topics, like tough theological ideas 
or maybe questions you have that haven't been answered yet or maybe don't even have like a real answer yet and just conversing and it's it's a really cool thing it's a it's a, it's a really beautiful thing i think that what we have with this podcast is just those conversations you know it's something that kind of like you said it's absent isn't it so it is i mean some might say well everybody started a podcast and yeah a lot of people do podcasts these days but not everyone has the i guess the the passion behind it that we found in it and we, mm-hmm. we just loved those conversations i mean i may know the answer to this but what would you say is your favorite episode we've done so far Ooh, favorite episode there's a couple there's a good couple good ones out there um i probably have to say the one with pastor kabanji and i'm talking part two because we did two episodes with him but the second one was was really good i i really enjoyed that one so that's probably my favorite one and if you haven't watched it already you should go watch or listen to it but that was yeah. the one where i accidentally turned the camera off from my apple watch <laughs> yeah so great episode to listen to you can watch it for five minutes <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah that was actually the first episode where we started filming and then you you mess it up so <laughs> <laughs> that's true i take ownership <laughs> yeah no i mean it started pretty small and i feel like one of the things that led it to grow into it and we're not saying it's huge it's certainly still a, a relatively small project but it's not about what resources you have or don't have. It's about the passion behind it. Mm-hmm. And right now we're still doing it, and I'm over here halfway across the country. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah. that, that was worth it to you, right? It was worth it oh, to yeah. keep going. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, and I'd say another part of it was definitely God's will. I do feel like that we wouldn't be this far if he didn't want us to be this far. So that, for me at least, tells me, that this is something that we need nowadays, which is all the more reason to keep going with it. So, hundred percent. Yeah, mm. we we. I think you and I have had a fair share of experiences while filming that show, of kind of like it's a God thing moments. Mm-hmm. Some of which, um, we still don't really understand. I know there was an episode recently where we recorded. This is right before I left, and we recorded a full episode that I thought was going to be one of the best episodes we'd ever released. And yeah. we just lost the whole thing. I mean, I don't know about you, but that was a really tough moment. <laughs> that that was, man, I remember what I was feeling during that. I was just pure dread, like, what the heck? I was so disappointed because that, that was a really good episode. Um, it was probably one of the best ones we've had so far. And then just to find out that it was all gone, that was disappointing. But, you know, it's... In life, sometimes you're gonna have moments like that, and that's where you, that's where that faith in God really should kick in. You know, that's like that's one of the. There's a lot of times where I find myself asking God why, like why does this happen, and some of those I haven't had the answers for yet, but the ones I have, it's like now I see why I completely understand. So it's just one of those moments where I may not understand why, but. I'm sure there's some reason, some some why. So, and that's just that's that faith in God, you know. Exactly. I mean, and there, there we've had kind of both situations because we had that one where we, frankly, we still haven't solved that problem. We still haven't re-recorded mm-hmm. that episode right now. But we also had an episode where the same sort of thing happened, and this episode actually hasn't came out yet. But we managed to find the file. Mm-hmm. These are the moments that happen behind the scenes of Faith Talk, guys. Is us yeah. sweating over a computer saying, where'd the file go? Where'd the one hour <laughs> file go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doing a podcast is, is definitely a lot more than just talking into a mic. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, it's just another one of those moments where God's like, I got this. Don't worry about it. You know, it's like no more, no point in worrying about today for today has enough worries or i mean tomorrow i should say no no point in worrying about tomorrow for today has enough worries so that's right that's a good verse yeah i think we yeah. also we, we all we have to thank our producer for for setting everything oh, up i mean of we, course we would have probably lost more videos if not for him <laughs> yeah so shout out to sammy s 4 m uh he makes really good music if you guys haven't heard it, you should check it out so 
Yeah, to shout out to some of his music as this fades out. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. We love you, Sammy. Yep. Yep. Well, any any last comments, I guess, to to the audience listening to this, um, not just pitching Faith Up, overall advice, but also, you know, shamelessly plugging the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, go listen to Faith Up and I'll play. Um, but I'd probably, if there's anything going on in your life right now that you're either anxious, maybe you have anxiety, maybe you're struggling with depression, you know, you don't know what tomorrow holds, maybe you're tossing and turning in your sleep, just know that God's got it. Um, every moment in my life where I've had an anxious thought or I've been stressing over something, I made it through it. And that's because God held me. He held me through it. He held my hand. And just know that God promises that he, he's got it, you know? So just, just let it be. That, that's some of the hardest and most important advice, I think, you can yeah. really get in life. So it, it can be really hard to, to fully trust God, but you just got to find it. That let go and let God moment, you know? You know, exactly. you know the story of, like, the guy hanging on the cliff, and he, he's an atheist, and he pr finally prays yeah. to God. And then God says, if you trust me, let go. He goes, is there anybody else up there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's exactly what it can feel like sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you just, sometimes you got to let go. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me here. Um, one last thing. Where can people find Faith Talk? I'm going to put this QR code on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Scan that and you'll find it. <laughs> it's, <not laughs> cool. um, it's on YouTube, Spotify, pretty much anywhere you can find podcasts. It's on Apple Podcasts. Um, so, yeah, I think I think I got all the places. Sure, but all the places. Yeah. Like, like all, said, the places. all the places are here. Plus the QR code. And be sure to follow us on our, our social media, too. We're on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all the fun places. <laughs> all right. So. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks so much.